Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and in today's video we will be talking about something that I'm not even sure I'm comfortable to talk about. I'm not too sure if I'm the right person to chat about it, but uh, so many of you have been asking me about it that maybe it's time for me to chat and share my experience with you. Marta, how did you grow your social media? Uh, how did you grow your following on YouTube, on your uh, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and all? How did you do it? Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying and it's not working. What's the recipe? What's the magical thing to be done? And the simple answer to it is, I don't know. I really cannot uh, tell you one thing, one exact thing, what to do or what to say. Uh, to make the change. Uh, to be honest, growing a following, it is taking years, months and years and years and it is different to every single individual. I do have few maybe things to tell you uh, how I feel about it in general uh, and when you are asking me how did you grow your YouTube channel, how did you grow your subscribers, uh, I would say stop talking about growing your subscribers that's one thing i don't think people uh, fans followers i don't think anyone wish to be called follower and wish to be called uh, a subscriber because even though there is over 200,000 people on my channel i always uh, was trying to reach to every individual individually not treating everyone as a bunch of followers quite opposite to it always i was always thinking about those people i mean you as uh, my friends as my family and till this day i i try uh, my hardest to be as uh, friendly as family uh, i don't know how to even say it but uh, the personal touch in your uh, YouTube channel, for example, I think it's something hugely important. Um, I never thought about my numbers when I opened my YouTube channel, when I uh, started my social media. Everything was happening naturally, together, simultaneously on all my social media. Um, I think that I never, I don't think I ever said followers to you. I really... I, Pinch me if I'm wrong, uh, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've ever said followers. Um, I always say friends because we are like friends and family here and I'm proud of it. And I know I'm not able to reach to every single one of you and answer to every single comment, but I'm trying. Is it possible to actually reach to everyone uh, personally when it's such a large uh, channel like 200 over 200,000 people it's not possible am i trying big time i am trying does it work well we have to ask you and um, of course you always will find someone who uh, will complain about your channel who will complain about who you are but i don't think you should pay any attention to that i think you should be faithful truthful to yourself and always always be yourself and stay yourself um, many of uh, people have been trying to grow their own channel based on my channel and I don't want to say names or uh, examples it's not about that but the simple fact that people think that if they become me in a way if they create similar projects if they talk the way I talk, if they talk about things I talk, if they will show what I'll show in the video, if they will have the same music as me in the video, if they will have what? Uh, nails painted the same way. I can tell you t tons of things that people are trying following because they think that this will help mm, to grow their channel, to grow their YouTube channel. And honestly, let me tell you, if you're a YouTube creator, this is exactly what you shouldn't be doing. What you possibly should do is to be yourself. No, definitely be yourself. But what possibly you should do is try to find your own way of exploration, of uh, being individually you, the way you like it to present yourself in front of your audience. I know it's difficult. I know it's very hard to find uh, to find the original you in a way and try to be attractive to people. But I think I've never thought about it. I've never tried it. I've never pushed to it. I was only 
on my own by myself the way I was and changing every day the most important was actually um, I was listening to my audience if I can call them I was listening to you guys your comments your advices your questions you're asking your expectations your um, yeah, your advice is what would you like to see, how I should change my channel, uh, what you don't like about it. I was always, always trying to uh, make the best here for you and I was based uh, everything was based on your opinions. Um, what else I can tell you? Let me think. Mm, I think that uh, many people when they're uh, doing their YouTube channel and other social media uh, I think a lot of people think that this takes like five minutes that this is uh, over a week or two or a month that things will just start gradually growing unfortunately it's not like that uh, it takes months and uh, it takes years to actually grow your social media and to be fair I think to grow one thing you have to work on every other social media that's what worked for me i think uh, i was always consistent i was always posting on twitter including all my um, photos and my videos i was always posting on uh, facebook instagram uh, so whenever the new video was coming up i was always um, busy on other social media as well to help uh, to reach to people to reach to those who wish to see my content and really um, even if let's say I think Twitter is the weakest of them all uh, I still would use Twitter because there are plenty of people who would use Twitter only and I wouldn't uh, stop posting there just because it's not popular or I don't actually understand Twitter but I still would post there so working simultaneously on all your social media is very important. Um, but actually, to be honest, the very first advice and should I should give is you have to create as unique content content as possible uh, you have to create things on your social media on your youtube channel especially things that you love to share with others not things that others do and uh, not copying the project not copying the ideas but to do your own thing you will tell me now you will sit here and watch it and you will think oh yeah right it's so easy to tell like this it's so easy to say oh be original when there's everything discovered here when everyone knows everything how can you be unique and original well you can grab inspiration from others and I mean it and um, it's not that I come up with all the ideas I have on my YouTube channel of course not plenty yes I'm trying because every single day I am thinking of what to record what to come up with how else can i surprise you but there are times when i have no inspiration and i'm looking at others projects and i'm looking for inspiration constantly i'm looking on all all my social media for example pinterest it's an or on instagram it's such a, a way of finding some interesting content there and what you may do for example is that let's say that you love making uh, canvases but you love that particular canvas uh, that someone did and you feel that there's nothing else you can actually explore about that canvas what you could do for example you could find five different projects and you could try to pick your favorite elements from those projects let's say that this canvas in particular has amazing amazing colors and you think it's just out of this world then you see on that canvas the size and you love the size of the projects so you may, oh, I like the round one, so I'm going to go for that. On the other example, for example, you think, oh, wow, I love the chain or a metal elements that was used there. I'm going to have those maybe as well. Then you look at some other project uh, and it's maybe an actual journaling project. And there is a beautiful title there that will just sparkle your inspiration, sparkle your, um, your creativity. So you will maybe grab that title or similar. This is how you build your own things. This is by looking, by looking at others. There isn't such a thing that I don't look at others. I don't watch others' video, to be honest, because I'm afraid that if I watch, especially if there's online online a uh, paid tutorial uh, like Wonderlust, for example, um, I would be afraid that I will share some secrets that people pay for uh, freely on my YouTube channel. So I don't watch that simply because I don't want 
others to feel that I'm uh, using someone else's ideas, techniques uh, from a class, paid class. So I don't watch uh, other tutorials, to be honest, because I really wish to stay away from being an original. Stay away from, from it as much as possible. Um, what else is important? I believe that some of you is concentrating on the numbers more than anything else. You're checking the statistics, you're looking at how many subscribers, fans, followers you're gaining every day. You're comparing yourself to others rather than really concentrate on making amazing content. Uh, there is room for everyone on the platform, whether you are a crafter, whether you doing makeup tutorials, whether you are making funny videos, there is room for everyone. But you have to be uniquely you in, in terms of uh, being special and hoping for this to turn into something even more special. Uh, don't talk about subscribers. Don't talk about numbers. Uh, stop trying to hike for like things. I don't think those things works. I don't, I don't think that you need to be uh, playing all the games like for like, share for share uh, with tons of other friends because I don't think people like that. I think from time to time making some kind of game to like a giveaway maybe uh, to, to gain some people, to, to so new people will hear about it, it's great. But there, if there is constant fight, constant thought, constant um, concentration around how to grow the numbers, I think people are tired of it. And to be honest, I am tired myself. I rather hear from people that I love and follow. I, I rather hear uh, positive things and know that they are enjoying their channel, enjoying their social media, interaction with people, with their fans, that they're finding ideas, that they're finding things that are just so special for them. Uh, I think this is one of the things people, especially crafters, uh, there is this such a vibe of being popular everyone wants to be popular within second within five minutes uh, they want to sell their craft they want to sell everything within five minutes it's not like this it doesn't work like that you cannot you cannot just change and things won't happen overnight it takes months it takes a lot of work a lot of dedication a lot of uh, being consistent in your in your um, in your work really um, I was doing my uh, YouTube for at least uh, was it three or four years before I uh, earned any penny from it and I think this is the problem people crafters YouTube creators uh, if you want to be a YouTube creator I think you are trying to think about earning money more than uh, what's on your channel uh, and I think this is just uh, not the way to go I believe that uh, if you are uh, truthful in what you do and 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 a YouTube channel as an income source is a, a part of it but not a main thing this is when it's gonna work uh, I have worked on YouTube for four years free of charge, never got any money from it. I was investing constantly, buying my uh, laptops, buying my cameras, buying my uh, products for videos, never got any, any financial uh, support. And only now in the last few years, there is some. Can I, ha can I tell that this is like, that I'm making millions? No. Can I say that I can live on that? Not yet, but, Things are changing, and there's this is not this is not something I'm concentrated on. I've been always concentrated on helping every crafter that I know, uh, every single one of you that is creating. I have been as answering your questions. I've been showing you products. I've been showing you techniques, tutorials, because this was my and still is my main thing: having fun, enjoying, and actually being an important part in the crafting community for so many people. Uh, income, numbers, followers, subscribers, all of that never mattered more than the YouTube channel and you, uh, you as individual. Uh, this is more important to me, always was, and I hope always will and never will change. And that that's definitely due to you guys, as I said. I'm getting tons of messages, tons of uh, comments on my YouTube channel that it is so encouraging for me to keep on going and keep on doing what I'm doing. You, I don't think you would ever believe me 
if I tell you how many uh, amazing emails I got um, do you know what I'm sitting like this and my leg is hurt now <laughs> I don't think you would believe me if I tell you how many actually how many actually uh, emails I received uh, they're like how to say it in an email but they're like three a4 pages three times a4 pages emails uh, when you are talking about your family when you're talking about your problems when you're talking about your um, your trials your failures your life your sickness your death in the family I do feel that I'm part of your family, part of your day. I do know that you treat me as a friend. And this is exactly how I was treating my channel and every single one of the person that subscribed ever to my channel. I've always been there for you and I am. That's why I'm recording this video to talk about it honestly and to those who are really wish to uh, do something in the crafting community, grow their channels and be uh, special in it. I really wish them to hear this voice that I'm saying today because honestly I think um, this 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 um, th there is this trend of being famous there is this trend of just growing up somewhere and I don't like that trend I'm not there I don't want to be part of that trend where everyone is just killing themselves to to as I said grow those numbers I don't like that I've never been part of it I've never paid any penny to grow it I was just creating content that I enjoyed and hope that you will enjoy. I was always replying to messages and comments and emails. I was there for you. I was consistent. I've been working on my social media, working. Again, I don't like that word, but it is kind of working. I've been there on social media every single day for years. I don't think there was a day without a phone in my hand. So if you wish to grow your subscribers if you wish this to become your job if you wish to be full-time artist and full-time social media creator and um, youtuber um, and maybe influencer if it's a very popular thing now to be influencer i'm not even sure i can call it myself like that but definitely i know that what i do what i say it brings impact to other people but you have to know that if you wish to be big in in this industry in any way big or noticed you have to give a hundred percent of yourself a lot of your time more than you think and before you can get any profits and before you can um see the difference it takes months of no seeing any 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 kind of results as such um another thing as well is you have to know that sometimes it's a lot of luck and i think that uh, maybe i had some kind of luck that that's why things are just positive on my end because uh, sometimes i had days when i had my subscribers uh when from uh, some number it grew up within one day to something totally crazy and i don't know why i only can imagine that someone or some 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 social media other some websites shared my videos uh, that's what i'm thinking that this is this is the only option because sometimes it just was crazy numbers were hopping hopping and i don't know why so be consistent uh, be uh, always reply to others be there you have to be present online constantly i mean constantly sharing your uh, projects sharing your passion uh, chat about it be there be ready be open be uh, yeah, be, be, be for people, but that's not for everyone, I think. Um, and as I said, when I was doing all of that myself, <laughs> I don't think I was, uh, I, I don't think I knew what I'm into it. <laughs> I, th I was doing things in, in, in um, I was doing things naturally without plan, which, uh, as I said, many people th think that you have, you know, kind of answers to what to do. No, I don't think so. I think every journey is different. Every person, every creator, influencer is different. And also every single social media is different. Whether it's YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, uh, you gain your followers, followers differently. For example, to gain YouTube uh, followers, you have to have amazing content that uh, people will search for 
this particular fantastic video uh, when it comes to Instagram you use hashtags that are so hugely important and there are content of one minute quick videos that could be searched and could be very popular uh, but especially hashtags uh, so uh, because you could be featured I never was but you could be featured on the main kind of page of Instagram I don't know how it is but I obviously see the main page of Instagram and others uh, being featured there so I believe this is the way as well how to grow it but uh, not from my experience using hashtags then Facebook uh, Facebook you can share all kinds of things uh, but I think when you share a uh, when you share chats or um, when you talk about uh, how to grow your uh, following on your social media and you share those askings and you constantly talk about it, I think people get tired of it, I believe. And I wouldn't do that. I don't do it. I never did. And if I would have any kind of concern, uh, I would ask someone who is just uh, maybe interested to answer um, like private message or I would just try to maybe reach out for videos like this one th for example uh, rather than kind of talk about it in front of your followers I think I think but I again this is my only experience um, I can tell you uh, what have changed in my uh, in my journey many years back there was this one lady um, she's her name is Caroline and her comment made a huge difference uh, on my YouTube channel because I remember um, this could be five years back uh, four five years back and I remember she said Do you know what Marta and she would be my vivid follower she would be my n number one a commentor commented person and I remembered her day uh, the person her name till now she's commenting and I'm so forever grateful she even made uh, shopping on my in my shop last week I think so I do remember and I am trying to be as personal as possible but I just wanted to say that uh, a lot of things changed thanks to her and that was because she made a point very clearly and I don't think I ever told her this I don't think she realized it but she had a huge chain impact and chain things changed because of her she left this comment when she said you know what Marta it's beautiful it's fantastic your project is amazing and you know I I would love to make project like that it's just perfect in every sense of it but I will never be able to afford any products from the list from the the products you used on this project never probably never hopefully I will but probably never and this this just sparkled something interesting in my head and I was thinking wow maybe there is more people like that and maybe I, and then I thought what's the point of just playing with the most expensive goodies there what's the point I mean who's gonna watch it they watch it but who's will that be will that be ever for people handy to to watch if they cannot recreate it if they cannot feel that inspiration and make their own because they have nothing what I've used in that video and this is when I've changed my channel to be more friendly to be more um more possible for others to actually follow it and enjoy it because I started using everyday items I started to concentrating more on techniques um, on project itself on and ideas than products ever you know I think this was the moment where I started creating my unique how to break a blank page videos do you know that series if you don't you're losing out a lot because uh, this is the most uh, well-known um, YouTube series of mine and you have kind of as well started it because again someone left me comments years back saying everything is great I love the project but I never know how to start how to break that blank page I have this trouble and you have said it to me you put that title in me and then I created this first video where I said how to break a blank page let's start let's do it together and it went from there so it's it's kind of Hannah it's kind of Hannah you want to come in come on come here I'm just gonna grab my coffee <laughs> 
Hatch. Come on. Oh, where are you? Come on. <laughs> she's grabbing something as well while she's walking to me. <laughs> the cardboard in the box is there. What did you get? Did you find the lovely chipboards? Two seconds, guys. Two seconds. Hatch. Hatch. Hi. Jin Dobry. Jin Dobry. Say hello. Drop hello. Hello. And blow kissy. Blow kissy. Come on, quick. Please, please blow kissy. <laughs> no. Um, look what I have. So, um, what I was saying, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to wrap up at that. I much appreciate your input here. Uh, if you could leave me comments uh, under the video and tell me what you think about this video. Was I making any kind of sense? Because I'm worried that I wasn't. Uh, and if there is anything you wish to add, what I haven't add, maybe you wish to actually say under this video, why are you watching my videos? Why are you a fan, a friend of this channel, not a subscriber? Why are you a friend of this channel? Why are you here? Why you came? How come you came? And how come you stayed? I think it would be absolutely amazing if you could share your experience with uh, people around here because we are, don't press it, no Hanushka, we are here like a family. I believe in that and I'm not saying it just to say it. I do believe it. I know it. I feel it with my heart. Okay, I'm so excited I finally talked about it because, uh, as I said, I was asked so many times and felt so bad always for it. I didn't know what words to use and how to actually say about what I feel because I... It's not, a, it's not a video where I'm gonna give you this Oh yes, use this, do this, do that, do this, do that Because I don't have them answers I don't... Two seconds, Hannah, I'll give you something else Let me show you mm, What can I give you? Oh look Oh look This, this is a pack This is where I'm writing envelopes to you guys uh, From the shop That's how many markers I have And Lucas is refilling them for me uh, so this is not a typical vid video with all these tips and ideas and tricks and hacks. No, I'm saying it from my heart and that's uh, that's who I am. That's what I always do. Uh, I share what I feel, how I feel about things. So I hope it was somehow uh, inspirational, helpful and giving you some some insight of of um, of this kind of. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope, I hope, I just hope it was good enough. But I would love you, no, you don't oh, go yeah. there. Oh, yeah, no, you don't go there. I really would love you to let yeah. me know uh, how you feel about it. Um, yeah, your, your, <laughs> no, Hanushka, your uh, words uh, would be equally amazing here and fantastic that you and me can just have this chat here. No, 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 you stay here, Hannah. No, 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 no argument here. Yeah, come on. Can I have it? Okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Let's say bye-bye, Hannah. Let's say bye-bye. Bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> say bye-bye. Mm. No kissy? No, no kissy. <laughs> bye. Kissy? Tabushka. Oh, she's grabbing some... Oh yes, and share this video with your friends. Please do share it. This is how you grow your subscribers. <laughs> By sharing the video. Uh, if people are sharing, this is so important. Sharing is caring. So please do share this video with your friends. Uh, so others can see it. Others can watch it. Get some knowledge from it maybe, hopefully. So yes, please do share it with your friends. It will be so appreciated. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.